So question one of the mechanics part of the applied paper for year 12 um, was a pulley's question. Um, so pause the video if you'd like to have a read of the question. So um, a summary of it is it's got these two um, small balls of mass 4M and 3M, respectively, P and Q. Um, it passes over a smooth pulley and um, the string is inextensible, so it's not elasticated at all. And part A says when the system is released, um, find in terms of M and G, the magnitude of the force exerted on the pulley by the string. So it's gonna be this force here. So that force and that force are acting on our pulley, T and T. There's also tension acting here and tension acting here. And we've also got acting downwards, 3mg and 4mg. And they're the only things that are acting in that system. So if we take this part of the system to start with and look at the motion here. If we release this, it's going to start accelerating that way, um, downwards and that way, upwards, okay? So let's take the direction of motion as positive and deal with this side first. So if we, um, look at the resultant force, and that's gonna equal mass times acceleration, so F equals MA. Acting downwards is 4MG, and acting upwards is T, so 4MG minus T, and that's gonna equal MA, so M is 4M for this one, times the acceleration, so that's, um, that's side of it. And then if we look at this side, again, we'll take the direction of motion to be the positive. So the resultant force over here is T minus 3mg. And that equals M, which over here is 3m times acceleration. So the resultant force equals mass times acceleration. So we've got two um, equations there. Um, I'm trying to find T so that I can take 2T um, acting down on the pulley. So let's rearrange um, this one. So if I rearrange that to be, to make MA the subject, um, MA equals 4MG minus T over 4. And I'm going to substitute that in there. T minus 3mg equals 3 lots of 4mg minus T over 4. Now let's multiply by 4 and um, multiply that 3 in there. So if I multiply by 4, it's going to be 4T minus 12 mg and then that side would be three lots of four mg minus t just that forward cancel out and then if i expand that three in i get 12 mg minus 3t so now i'm just going to rearrange this to make t the subject so take all the t's to one side i've got seven t equals 24 mg, so t equals 24 over 7 mg. Now the force on the pulley is 2t, so it's two lots of that, so it's 48 over 7 mg. And that's our final answer. Um, part B just says state one limitation of the model apart from 
ignoring air resistance that will affect the accuracy of your answer to part A. So for part B, there are a few different things we could write. Um, we could have the weight of the rope. Um, we could have the string might not be inextensible, so it might have a bit of elasticity to it. Um, what other one, what else could we have? Um, we could also say that the system might not be smooth, as so the pulley system may not be smooth. Um, so any of those three things would be fine. So that's question one of the mechanics.